Welcome beetle lovers, Goliotus regius. Today I have a lot of work because we have to change the substrate, check the weight of every uh, larva and we have to prepare new, a little bit bigger containers for the second phase. You remember that we started 16th of July when I received uh, these 20 L1 stage a lot about and L1 stage a lot about with a weight of around one and a half gram and now it's the 26th day after we started and we have to check through all the little glass jars where I have the insect. This morning I was really shocked I tell you why because I would like to help you not doing the same mistake I did. When I woke up I open one eye like this a little bit and I see the beam of the sun coming through my whole room exactly to the container with the glass jars and the sun was shining onto the glass jars so of course I jumped up in the right that moment and I uh, closed the, cur the curtain of the uh, window and put away the glass jars in a place where it's really shady because this can destroy the larva. If it heats up the substrate inside of a glass jar like that it easily gets up to 40 degrees and that will kill the insect so it's a mistake I will remember from tomorrow on that in the morning the sun is really flat and can come into uh, a room and you you probably you have it on somewhere on a table and you don't think about that the sun can reach that place so be sure you have your um, containers with larvas always in a shaded place Temperatures came down a little bit here in Switzerland in the last days. Now it's about 26 degrees. That's a perfect temperature for the beetles. And I have a lot of uh, bookkeeping material with me, new etiquettes uh, uh, to write something to write down the weight of the larva. Then I prepared new containers. And here I also see something interesting because I left the etiquettes, uh, the labels from the last. Uh, rearing section, rearing session here that was 2014 I think and here I can also see how many pellets I gave to some of the of these uh, larvae that I had in, in this breeding box so you here you see from 6 it went up to 7, 8, 8, 8, then to 10, a long series of 10 then the larva was 37 point one nine grams and then we start being up up to eight so we have to feed them around 10 uh, of these cat food pellets each second day and in, uh, in the phase when they are really getting uh, strong and big but now let's have a look first what we find here they are not that big at the moment so I will all also sieve out uh, the material to see how many food pellets have not been eaten then I can judge whether I gave too many of these pellets uh, to the Goliathus larvas or not. So now this is number 17 I will also write down exactly a new etiquette number 17 and now I will check how many of the pellets have been eaten so we gave 666 six, six in the last days so here it's, you cannot see a tunnel up here so I, you never know what happens if the larva in deep in the substrate waiting because normally they have a, a tunnel to the surface so let's see what she's doing now here she is she's in I think she tries to eat something here at the moment she looks not bad and we will try to see whether she has gained some weight here, I think she should because that's, it looks nice here. The larva, I need something, yes, my, just to make the toro here. So, we can put it in here. So it's still an L2, it's not an L3 yet, it's 8 point six grams so she's probably now on the way 
to the mold to L3 stage so here I write it's 8.5555 grams and to the, the 11th so and how many pellets she has not eaten some you know see one two three four five so around six huh so I write down minus six here and then the question is what do we do now um, do we put her into a new substrate for the mold yes or no normally I say um, we leave her in the in the same um, glass jar to mold to the next stage but now today I have enough time to do that so I will change and put them in this one liter boxes I, I wash them just a little bit so I try to remove the etiquette you know but they are sometimes uh, sticking very heavily to this plastic pot jar so I, I just destroy them a little bit that I know that's not the, at the label that I want to look at so and then we fill them with our substrate it's the same substrate that we already had you know it uh, it's the mixture of sand and peat and then you can see the first video where we pre when we prepared the substrate how it's actually made so do not fill them completely to the top leave some two three centimeters because the larva is, is not eating this material it's just hiding in there so it would be good like ever about like this also if you have a lid then the larva cannot stem out the lid if it's uh, too much space between the surface of the substrate and the lid itself so otherwise you have will have to fix it with a rubber band or something like that so what we do now we put her in here in this new fresh substrate here voila and as we have seen that she did not eat the last pellets that were on the surface I just uh, put kind of an indicator uh, pellet for her to see whether she is uh, now still eating or not this is the this green pellet I put in so I just write here plus one then I know um, she was probably in the stage of uh, molting to the L3 stage so around eight nine ten grams they can mold to the next stage so now she's going down you also see that she's not that fast anymore as she is normally in L2 stage they are very fast but now she seems a bit lethargic and uh, she's not that fast anymore so probably she's already in the development to the L3 stage and that's it so we close the box with the lid and just put on the etiquette like this and then in my little book I also write that number 17 was 8.55 grams so they gained some weight huh? it's not that they did uh, become monsters already in these 26 days that have passed since we started the project but now they are starting to uh, gain weight if you see on this uh, table of uh, a rearing experiment at the Czech University in Prague that this is five grams here so here at the end of phase two stage two they were in this rearing experiment around five and a little bit more around five grams like this here so we are already here around eight grams now not yet uh, molded to l3 stage so our curve is already uh, better than the rearing experiment there because they no, did not use my special cat feed no no they just uh, added protein feed later on and that boosted the development of the lower ones but now we're in a good so we should be around 10 grams for the mold to L3 that would be fantastic let's see whether we find a lot of them with this kind of way this is number four number four
so um, of course I have to remove this pallet here number four everything eaten I gave six uh, so it seems that this should be already L3 because here there was a phase where she didn't eat for two phases and now she starts eating so probably here we find already an L3 stage Laura, let's see. Whoa, God, look, this is really big already. And it's a, it's an L3. And now you see she's active. And if you do, don't pay attention, they will bite you. Because they can and they have claws at the end of their feet with which they can catch uh, other insects or larvas or other prey that they find. So now we will have a look. This is the third L3 stage now of Coleotus regius that we have. Let's see what it makes on the way scale here. 10.9 grams. So she's freshly molted. So this is the, of course now um, the stage where we should uh, change the substrate. And we have a look into the how much, how much she didn't eat. Look, there's not many left too. Here I see two or three and this is already uh, this is uh, or the L2 stage uh, fecal pellets the L3 stage they are a little bit bigger we will find them then later on in the breeding process so for this it means we have to present already uh, the next portion of of uh, cat food pellets and now they, she, she has eaten six now, but we, we start giving more. Now we, as soon as we see that she is sticking into the new substrate, I know that she will love it because it's exactly the same substrate that she knows already. And the only difference is that it's fresh. In the old substrate, sometimes particles of the cat food pellets disperse and it starts smelling a bit strange. So this is also nice for the larva. It's like if you have a bath in fresh water, they are now in this fresh sand and peat mixture. So, but we have to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I start giving ten. Now, because she's now in L3 stage, so probably she is now hungry and would like to eat some more food. And I write minus 10 plus, minus 2 plus 10. So that's it's a nice way, number 4. What we said, 10.8 gram. Oh, that. So that you see now we are, now we are here, on, if we compare it to the uh, rearing table of the Czech Union, anyway, we are already here now. 10 and more grams. So it's starting of L3 stage here. So that's a good curve uh, to become a big uh, larva at the end. And we, you see she's already uh, in the substrate now. And I close the lid at the new label to the box and yes that's the work we have to do now with all of the 20 glass jars and you will see that um, I hope that we find all of the 20 still living but could be that some uh, died for reasons I, I cannot uh, say there are always some reasons why some of them do not survive as you know from the breeding project so far, we had the first two days we have to adapt them to the new food source, these cat food pellets. So that's one of the critical points also. Last time I added seven pellets here, so that nothing left. Also here we had a phase where she didn't eat anything for uh, two for four days. So this is typical for a, a phase of the mold. So this probably is also L3 stage already. Yes, you can see this practically is filling up half of the glass jar already. So this must be, let's see how much it is on the weight scale. That looks great. 
looks great and active and big really big now this is already 12.65 grams and let's see whether she has eaten not eaten some of the pellets yeah, here probably one two three yeah? four yeah five so some of them the larval stages just uh, they just dig in the substrate and wait till they are sucked up a little bit with uh, humidity so that they are softer to eat now that's number two we say 12 point Six five grams, so we had minus four. We give now plus ten also here in the new box because I want to start them fast now. I think Coriotus regius can be really big, a uh, lot of us, so um, we should not um, think that they do not eat a lot. This lot was really nice. Look. We'll put her in here, so I know that if, if there's a hole, she will dig down and find it nice to be here. And the pellets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we put ten pellets and I'll add some water here in one of the edges so that there's enough humidity for the larva. So number two is, that's the... Uh, the biggest one so far, huh? 12.65 grams. I have to close the lid. Also, I will place all the these bigger plastic containers now into a bigger box. So in case a larva escapes, I can uh, put her back because I also lost uh, some of the earlier Goliathus larvae that they, they uh, made jailbreak and ran away and I didn't find them anymore in the cellar. So here, this larva stopped eating last time. I gave zero yesterday. Before she was eating, it stopped also. So this could be that she is, yeah, look, she, she didn't touch the pellet. So what is here? Either she's dead or she's on the way to m mold to L3 stage. We will see what what we find here very carefully. I think she's freshly molded to L3 stage. Um, but she's uh, already active again. It's small L3 stage. So she also looks a little bit soft and a little bit fresh, you know. Yeah, that's an L3 stage also. We have to... Oh, no, don't, don't bite me. <laughs> yeah, they want. They don't want to, to keep them in. So, okay. 7.25 grams. That's a nice weight also for this larva. 7.25. And she's very active. That's an L3 stage. This is number 13, huh? 13, 7.25 grams. So at the end of L2, they are all 8, 9, and then when they mold, they, they, they lose around 1 or 2 grams. That's just normal. That's nothing to uh, think. It's, so and you see, that she didn't eat anything of the pellets because she was in the mold. So that's why we find some of the uh, remains of the older pellet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, around 7 here, huh? So I write a minus seven, but now she's already on the way to become active again. So I will not give to this larva ten food pellets now, but probably four or five. So she, she's uh, young now after the mold. Oh, that's very nice. Look, it's a nice young. L3 stage Goliotus regius that wanted to bite me in the finger so bad. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. We will see in two days whether she has eaten all of these four pellets and if yes, we can start giving more. So that's my strategy now because she's really very young. She's one day or so since mold. So now we have this one, 
plus 4. So you see, um, Breeding Goliathus is what my friend Benjamin always says, is kind of uh, work you have to do with discipline. If you do not do that, try other beetles, but if you like to do something like I do here, just go into it and you will be very happy if you find at the end that you find a closure of big Goliathus beetles. So this time, last time I get six pellets here, let's see. Yeah, not eaten everything. Three are here visible on the top. Let's see what the larva is doing. Uh, she is L2 stage still. She's not yet molted, so let, but also she seems a little bit lethargic now already and probably she will enter the mold now in a, in some I have to put the Torah to say, let's see, that's 8.1 grams, so that's a typical uh, weight for a, a larva to a Goliathus to transform into L3 stage, 8.1 gram is L2. So, we will have a look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, I did, uh, this, for this larva I have probably too many pellets last time. So also you have a reason here to see why we should change the substrate. Because now this material starts rotting. There are too many uh, food pellets now in this little uh, glass jar with the substrate. So she will be happy to find a new good smelling fresh substrate like this one here and of course we, if we offer her a kind of a tunnel she will use it to go down and now here because we know that she probably is on the way to mold I, I place two indicator pallets on the top so if she needs something she can eat this too and it will be enough for the transformation to L3 and if not we know that she's now finally going to mold to L3. So we say plus 2 and that's it. Now we have the box number 5. So that's only a quarter of all the boxes we have, you know. So you see that it takes some time to do that later on. 8.1 gram L2. So I write, of course, down if the weight is in which stage. So. Next one, number six, larva number six. Now this one is okay, five, 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 five every day. So I started to giving them new pellets every day now from seven, eight, nine, ten. So probably we, I gave now 20 pellets in the last four days so probably that's a little bit too much we will see why it's too much because we see some leftovers probably here in the substrate now here it's also an l2 stage larva still l2 it's not yet molded to l3 so we will look um, we will see how much she wait we have to make this taro thing over and over again so again Come on. Now here it is. Seven grams. So she will probably need one more or two more pellets to grow to the L3 stage. So this is seven grams in the L2 stage. Number six. Seven gram L2 stage. Now we have a look how many pellets were not eaten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, eight. That's not because I gave 20 the last four days. You remember? So she has grown a lot. So I say minus eight. And I give here four new ones. Eleven. Also with a new box. So I'm very happy that until now all the 
boxes we have checked they have survived and they seem to be in a good shape so here I give four new pellets that's it and add some water in one edge so also if you spray the water directly onto the pellet sometimes they start rotting very fast so I, this time I put the water at the water in a uh, in an area where it's sandy so if the lava wants you can bring the pellet there and it will suck up with a little bit of water number six so what I do is I make another four and then you can watch the next ten jars in the German part of this documentation about the rearing of Goliathus regius so now here we had a phase where she didn't eat anything here from 7th uh, August on and, and now she starts eating and she has eaten everything that I gave, 6 pellets, um, 12 pellets in the last 2 days so let's see, it must be L3 now because if she starts eating like this yeah look it's an L3 already <laughs> It's just a nice view if you see a Goliathus larva, a larva of one of the biggest beetles in the world and the most famous of Africa, uh, like this with this head capsule, with this big head, head capsule. And now she's 9.45 grams, 9.45 in the L3 stage and that's number 12. So let's have a look whether we have a lot of uneaten pellets here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we have some uneaten pellets, so it's good also for this time that we change the substrate. We give them some new and very fresh sand peat mixture. We give her back here. And now for this one. I will make six, two, three, four, five, six. So because she is not ten grams now, I think she will probably start with now six pellets. And if tomorrow I find everything is away, I can start giving a little bit more. Then we quickly go up to ten each second day. So um, then they can really grow. I mean ten pellet is 2.5 grams of food and that's a lot you know that's uh, number 12 uh, 9.45 in L3 stage minus 10 plus 6 so I think important f uh, also for you as a hobby is to uh, make a good bookkeeping so as you can see on the box all these old labels I, I could follow all the development of the larva and also you see when they stop eating that they have must have uh, made a mold so yeah you have seen we have proven that now with all of this larva so far number seven now what happened here uh, now we have some also some glass jars where, where I think it was problematic like for, say for example here here I don't know what really happened because this lava didn't eat it stopped eating first it started eating two two six four then it stopped eating in the last two uh, phases so let's see whether now she is has molded to L3 stage because that uh, would be just normal that now she is in the next phase that's, and that's one of the reasons why she stopped eating yeah look what she's doing here now this is so small this is a little bit left be it an L2 stage that is behind all of the other larvae so this one I will not put in a bigger in a bigger um, container I will keep her like this and try to slowly add some food for her because this is really behind now it's only two grams so it it didn't grow in the last 20 days so this one I will not change uh, the glass it actually will clean it out a little bit add some new substrate of course here 
and then put her back in this substrate and with only little feet so what you can try also if you have some flake soil then and you really think that it's probably because this larva has not enough uh, eaten enough of the flake soil material in the L1 stage you can put some of this material also in here and hope that this will do be a, a better diet for her to start growing but normally a larva that is behind like that she will not make it um, to an adult because they have to grow fast in nature to become adults the rainy season is short they have to hurry up to grow so if they don't grow they normally do not survive so what I do I had uh, plus it was only two gram L2 stage and we added uh, one pellets plus flake soil so yeah that's one of the problematic larvas here huh? so do not expect too much for this larva because uh, as I said this will be a, a problem child of our rearing breeding uh, project here so I add a new etiquette just like this so we have one glass jar as is still left in this stage so now we try to make another one and that is enough for today I know it's a long video but it's also a long uh, work six three four five like that it seems good not eaten everything so it's not yet sure whether she's uh, in the L3 stage or oh, she's on the way there no she's already no a very big L2 it's a big L2 stage so this is probably the biggest L2 now we have but the signs are clear she didn't eat because she's on the way to the mold now now let's see she's 9.9 gram that's really perfect uh, a perfect weight for a L2 stage Goliatus larva on the way to the mold now this is the this is number seven gram in L2 that's uh, how much I said 9.9 .9. yeah that's perfect so number seven nine point nine grams L2 stage what we do now I already present a new box with new fresh material so she has a new home now that's a really nice weight for a L2 stage Goliathus. So, and I do not add too many pellets just to indicate the pellets to see whether she started already eating again or, the, or she's uh, really going to the mold. And two, three sprays of water. And that's all. So, who? <laughs> Thanks for watching, thanks for taking your time to follow me in the rearing process of Goriotus regius from Africa, thanks.